Hi and welcome to the presentation of GIST, a layout adjustment method dedicated to scatterplots. Most of the large-scale scatterplots we manipulate are produced by algorithms, such as TSNE, that project the points in two dimensions. We call these points nodes, and since the visualization of the projection as is is not satisfactory, we often represent them with a color and a size. However, adding this size modifies the relative distances between the nodes in a way that was not anticipated by the layout algorithm and can induce overlaps. To solve these overlaps, we use overlap removal algorithms that can optimize either the preservation of the initial layout or its compactness. However, we argue that the ideal representation is probably the combination of both criteria. We distinguish two kinds of overlap removal algorithms. The first ones are in the geometric space. They only manipulate the node positions and sizes and must strictly remove the overlaps. For example, the serial algorithms detect and process the overlaps sequentially, propagating the node movements. The stress-based algorithms model the task as a distance distribution optimization problem, moving the nodes with attraction and repulsion forces to match ideal distances. Finally, the constraints-based algorithms model the overlaps as a set of constraints that are relaxed with dedicated algorithms. The second kind is that of algorithms in the visual space. In addition to the node positions and sizes, these algorithms are aware and can even optimize some visual encodings of the representation. For example, we can consider that grudification algorithms remove overlaps by assigning every node to a cell that is exclusively dedicated to its representation. In addition, the size of the grid can be considered as a minimal resolution to visualize the scatterplot. By extension, we also consider that compact visualization algorithms belong to this family. They maximize the compactness of the solution layout as it can be even more compact than the initial one. Finally, the last approach we mention here are the density preservation algorithms, which scatterplot unfold is a good representative of, and which algor our algorithm just belongs to. The main idea of GIST is to tolerate some overlaps to soften the constraints and ease its convergence. Managed in regard of the target resolution of the visualization image, the tolerated overlap can even be lost during the rasterization process, meaning that there is no downside for the information visualization. Finally, the tolerance is bounded to always guarantee that data nodes remain visible in the target resolution. Formally, the objectives of GIST are to guarantee nodes' visibility instead of removing overlaps, then maximize this visibility while also preserving the initial layout structures. When designing it, we expected the algorithm to scale to sets of tens to hundreds of thousands of nodes. To achieve these goals, GIST uses three main components, a bounded tolerance to overlap according to a target resolution in the visual space, a binary search to maximize the node diameters in the visual space, and the stochastic gradient descent to minimize the necessary node movements to remove overlaps in the geometric space. Later, we will also present the comparison of GIST with state-of-the-art algorithms on layout preservation and node visibility metrics. But first, let's see how GIST works exactly. It has three inputs, the target resolution of the visual space, the tolerance in that resolution, and the initial node positions in the geometric space. At every step, it searches for the optimal node diameters with a binary search. Its lower bound is one pixel, such that the nodes remain visible, and its upper bound corresponds to the node sizes in the initial layout, mapped into the visual space in the target resolution. The tolerance is adapted according to the node diameters in the current step of the binary search to always guarantee their visibility. Then, they are converted into the geometric space and used with the node positions to find those that overlap despite that tolerance. The overlapped nodes are moved to optimize the stress function by stochastic gradient descent for a fixed number of iterations that corresponds to a budget limiting the distortions of the initial layout. If there remain overlaps uh, in the adjusted layouts, we start a new loop in the algorithm with smaller node diameters. If there is no longer any overlap, we save the current solution and start a new loop with larger node diameters unless the binary search is stopped. Its stop condition is when the difference between two consecutive node diameters is lower than a threshold. In that case, we return the best node positions that were found during the optimization. For a more detailed description of the algorithm, 
please refer to the article. We evaluate JIST on metrics that measure the distortion of the initial layout, both globally and locally, and the node's visibility that is related to the compactness of the solution layout. These metrics are quite standard and inspired, if not directly taken, from state-of-the-art studies. Again, please refer to the article for detailed definitions of these metrics. We compare JIST with the algorithms that are the closest to it in terms of behavior and objectives. We also compare with both visual space and geometric space algorithms to highlight the differences of the solution layouts proposed by the two approaches. Finally, all these algorithms are evaluated on 48 scatter plots with between a thousand and more than a hundred thousand nodes and between zero and 10 million overlaps. Here, we present the results relatively to GIST scores on every metric. The full distribution of the metrics on the evaluation dataset are presented in the article. On the global layout preservation metrics, we observe that GIST is very good in comparison to other algorithms. It is also good on local layout preservation metrics, although other algorithms such as PFS Prime and Scatterplot Unfold are better. Eventually, its solution layouts are relatively compact. As we can see in this more detailed plot, the diameter of the smallest nodes in the layouts produced by GIST are larger than one pixel in most cases. Since all the nodes in a scatter plot are larger than the smallest one, it means that GIST successfully produces layouts where nodes have more than one pixel dedicated to their representation in the visual space. Finally, we can see that GIST execution time competes with other algorithms but varies more than them across the evaluation dataset. Before coming to the conclusion, we discuss some visual examples to realize how the numbers of the quantitative evaluation reflect the visual quality of the layouts produced by the compared algorithms. On this first example, we observe that GIST proposes the best compromise between layout preservation and the node sizes. The node sizes in layouts from other methods are smaller and they do not necessarily preserve the initial layout better. If we zoom in GIST layout, we can see that some overlap was indeed tolerated, but every node has at least an area exclusively dedicated to its representation. On this second example, we can see that compact methods make it impossible to read the structures of the initial layout when there is no color. This is well illustrated by prism and degrid layouts, and by Hagrid's ones to a lesser extent. Again, this proposes a good compromise between compactness and layout preservation. This third example illustrates how the algorithms that focus on density preservation, such as GIST and Scatterplot Unfold, enable to retrieve information in scatterplots with high variations of densities. Finally, this last example presents the results of the algorithms on a famous scatterplot the Fashion MNS dataset projected by TSNE. We think this example is very illustrative of GIST capabilities to preserve the local and global initial layout structures while also maintaining the visibility of all the nodes, including outliers. To conclude, our article presents GIST, a layout adjustment algorithm dedicated to data visibility in scatterplots. The goal of our algorithm is to preserve the initial layout while guaranteeing and maximizing the node's visibility. To achieve these goals, GIST moves overlapped nodes to optimize a stress function by stochastic gradient descent for a limited number of iterations. The optimal node sizes are found by binary search at the same time. Limiting the number of movement iterations and the binary search for the optimal node diameters enable to find balance between the initial layout preservation and the compactness of the solution layout. In addition, GIST tolerates some overlaps to ease the optimization process, as long as it does not hinder the visualization. GIST was evaluated quantitatively and visually with state-of-the-art algorithms on both layout preservation and compactness criteria. The evaluation demonstrates that GIST proposes a great compromise between the two criteria and leads to aesthetically pleasing visualizations. Thank you very much for your attention. If you want to know more about this work, we invite you to read the article, try the online demo, or even contact us directly.